Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and guess what? We just bought our most expensive storage unit yet. We paid a lot of money, and it looked super good, and it went for cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. I'll explain when we get there. But for now, let's try to survive this 100 plus degree heat and get on the road. All right, here we are, guys. This storage unit, this unit's so big and so packed full of treasure, it needs two doors. One, two. We paid $1,100 for the unit. And let me tell you something right now. This door right here, the lock, they couldn't get through it. Could they have gotten through it and that door was open for the auction? This thing would have went sky high. It is loaded and looks so good. Let's open the doors and give you a look. This is the door that everybody saw when they panned the unit. They would have got this door open in time. You tell me what you think that would open for. So when we saw this unit open up, we thought it was gonna go super high, so we went right ahead and said, we're gonna split this unit in half, we're gonna team up on it. This guy over here, do you know him? Hi guys. It's good. <laughs> Storage stalker. We honestly thought one of the other guys here was gonna go like super high because it looks super good. And when everybody stopped at 1100, we're like, we're about to make out big. So let's start going through this unit and see what we find. First things first, when I see moving blankets, I see people that care about their stuff. Second thing, when you see nutcrackers that are over five feet tall, they probably got a big house. I've said they probably got a big house. If you got a big house, you probably got some money. First thing, I'll see what's in here. Courtesy of Storage Stalker, because you guys know I don't carry knives. Let's see what this is. All right. What is that? That's a giant Whoa. like clock. Yeah, it's upside down. It's upside down. Look at that. Mm. That is super nice, isn't it? Woo, What's that on the bottom? Out. How much? $299. $300 for the first thing. We're only in this $1,200. We're already can have a quarter of our money back with one item. So we moved this giant china cabinet thing out of the way and that was really the big mystery because you know what, you could really see much behind it but now that it's out the way, look at this unit. All nicely, professionally packed U-Haul boxes, taped old grandfather clock right there. It looked beautiful and we're just gonna get started. I think we're gonna make a lot of cash on this. Another thing I really liked about the unit that I always look for is on the ground here, you can see it two locks, which means that it was cut and tried to be rescued at least one other time other than this time. So that usually tells me they care about what's in there if they're gonna try to pay it off. But unfortunately for them, they couldn't pay it off and we got some good stuff. So we got two, they look really old. Might be like iron and wood dining room chairs, I guess. Would you call them dining room chairs? Uh, I say like, I don't know. Patio chairs, I don't know. Wood? I don't know if that'd be a good idea. I say a hundred dollar bill. Hey, that's what I like to see. We got, that's just bubble wrap with nothing in it. No, this, this is in it. An earring. Put that here. All right, so let's get around these gigantic nutcrackers. Can we name them? What are their names? Mm. Um, by the way, they're in great shape and they still work. This guy's missing his trumpet though. We're being generic, Bob and Bill. Bob, oh, come on, you couldn't think of more <laughs> generic names than that. I need time to think. All right, let's see what's in. This first box here. It looks, oh, I see very nice frames in here. We have a Picasso. All right, we got the first one out. Super nice frame. Looks like a yellow sunflower maybe. You know what the thing with art is? That could be $5 from Big Lot or that same looking thing could be $10 million from Picasso. You never really know. That's why art's kind of exciting. This one's a red flower. Woo! Flowers. Something's telling me we probably got a set here. I don't know what it is. I'm just getting a set vibe. The fact that they're all in the same frame and are the same thing. Another red flower. One more in here. Is that the same thing? No. No, it's different. Slightly different, but nice set of paintings. So we got a beautiful red vase. That was my attempt at a rich white guy voice. I'm not really good at it, guys. So. No. Oh well. Deal with me. Let's see what's in. This looks like it's gonna be more art. 
and it's ripped on this side. I can already tell you this is someone's personal pictures in a nice frame now, but we don't want to show their pictures to you guys, unfortunately. You gotta keep that secret stuff. Let's pull out ooh, this big boy. All right, let's see. All right. Fragile. I like the words fragile. Be careful. Huh? Don't play with me. Let's see. All right, what do we got in the first one? Yes, packing paper. Just what I needed. And it's a bamboo garden, fine china tea glass. Maybe it's gonna be a whole set in there? Let's see. So these are these are maps, look at this. I don't really know what they're maps of or why they're in there, but four framed maps, that's kind of strange. What is this? Ooh, a tooth, tooth whitening kit. Yeah. Um, what is that? We'll see if it's part of the same set or not. Yeah. Looks like it again. Yep. Bamboo Garden, Fine China. So if it's a complete set, it's probably going to have some decent value for sure. What else do we have in here? Some paperwork here. California. Never mind. Nothing interesting. Oh, uh, this is from the Superior Court of California. I might have to look into this later. You know what I like to do? Play investigator. This is... What's wrapped up in here? It's like... Just a little, like, candle holder, probably? Yeah. Alright. And what else do we have in here? This is another one of the same plates, I think. This looks like... They open it. Stop putting so much paper on it. Same thing. Bamboo garden, fine china. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and assume that we're gonna have a full set in there. Let's see what else we see though. What is this machine here? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The same one we have. That's a food processor. It looks like part of a broken fishing pole. All right. This is gonna be another piece of china, I'm gonna assume, because that's what it feels like through the paper, but can never be too sure. Yep, same color, same pattern. So yeah, I'm gonna go out and say, we got a full china set there, which is probably gonna have some good value too. All right, let's get this big box right here down because I don't really know why I don't have a reason, just because it's heavy. All right. Ooh. This stuff is gold. We always need packing paper. Everything in here is individually wrapped. Look at this stuff. Let's see what this is. Again. What is that? A giant plas or glass fork. I can eat with this. This is something I need. This is like my size fork when I'm eating. That's what I need in my life. So this looks like it's going to be like miscellaneous kitchen decor. Let's see if this is the same type of thing or not. Everything's double wrapped, so definitely well taken care of. A chicken. <laughs> Oh, we're definitely not going to call the chicken a four-letter word. It's also referred to as. Not happening. This is a clean, family-friendly channel. All right, what do we have here? Is this the spoon? This is probably going to be the spoon that goes with that fork, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine eating your cereal in the morning or something with this? Mmm. <sighs> I could use it for that. Oops. See, I'm clanking stuff together. Now I'm going to have someone in the comments. Are you like a bowl of excited daddy? Everything you Even over like what 350 storage units in and never once broken one thing ever, so there's another chicken. So right here, let's see if this has a brand on the back of it or for decorative use only. Why can't like what's the difference between a decorative plate and a usable plate? It's the same thing. It says for decorative use only. Like what am I gonna what's gonna happen if I eat off of it? It's gonna explode? Oh no. Let's see if we can open up another couple things in here. Like this one. What's in here? What do you think it is? Another chicken plate. I'm getting tired of chicken plates. But I'm gonna guess again, this is probably another set and they're just all in there, but I don't think anyone wants to look at 87 different chicken plates. So let's assume we got a set of chicken plates. 31 day. Now obviously it doesn't look like it's all like 
the pieces in there, so it might not be together. It's all there. Have you ever heard of the castle brand of a clock? I have high-end stuff by it, I guess, so let's hope that's high-end too. Next box out. Let's see what we got. Let's pull out this buddy first. Love doing that. I do. Something's so satisfying when I switch plays. Oh, do I need to do it again? No, no, it's all right. Don't rip it. Don't okay, rip it. It's okay. all right. You know. Okay. We need an excuse to cut. We'll cut. Cutting's fine. All right, let's see. Blanket. It's not holding it. No, it's just a blanket. Flower. <gasps> There's still flour in it. Mm, some spices. You smell it in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, what is that? Some type of frame. It looks. I don't want to show their picture, but that looks really old, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We found one that looked like that before. It was really old and it ended up being a silver frame. It was worth like 200 bucks for a tiny frame. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. That. All right. All right. Well, guys, not looking like much in here. A shoe. Some washcloth. Some candles. Uh. That. A cone. Let's look on this side before we just move it aside. Oh, what are these? Think they could be silver? I don't know. They look like they might be. I don't know, we might have to test them later. Another thing and another shoe. All right, that's a, I see some paperwork too though. Social security. No yeah. fun. That's kind of a crappy box. Let's pull off this box right here and see what we have besides a green blanket. All right. A green blanket thing. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. That's a Dreamcast controller. You think there would be the system in there somewhere? I hope so. That would be cool. All right, let's see. we got a VHS player here. What is that, a cable box? Looks like a legitimate cable box. What is this? That's a DVD player. Okay. What is the big boy here? What is this? An old printer? Yeah, that's a printer pedal. Huh. Whatever this is. What is this? That didn't help. I think it's a sewing machine. Look. Oh, it is. This is at the top. The sewing machine. Look at all that dust. You know how long that stuff's been sitting here? A very long time, but that's cool. Hello! Guys, for some reason, nobody's picking up. But for real. Check out that cool looking old antique phone. I don't really know how old it is. Serial number 200-564. The fact that it's plastic instead of metal on glass, probably like a newer version of it. So maybe it doesn't have value, maybe it does, but either which way, that's kind of cool. I really wish I could have showed you more of this unit, guys, but the heat outside was not having it. It kept shutting the camera off mid-clip. We recorded, it would shut off. Tried recording it, it would shut off, and I just had to give up. The heat was too much today, but just for that little glimpse we have, we've went through two, three boxes out of probably 40 to 50, and I think we have well more than our investment back already. If we're lucky on that sewing machine, some of that brand could be worth up to $2,000. Most of them are $800 to $1,500. This, um, what, the China set is worth a few hundred dollars. The clock, a few hundred dollars. That unit is just dripping with gold, and we'll be back in it soon enough. We still have more auctions all this week, so we're hoping to get even more units. Maybe come back to that unit. I don't know. We just got so much stuff, and I think it's a great unit, guys. Like I said, 10 minutes in there, and I think we already have our money back. I think it's going to be so good when we're done. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.